Question number 32 from set B says that if L1 is the line of intersection of the planes 2x minus 2y plus 3z minus 2 equal to 0, x minus y plus z plus 1 equal to 0 and L2 is the line of intersection of the planes x plus 2y minus z minus 3 equal to 0, 3x minus y plus 2z minus 1 equal to 0. Then we have to find out the distance of the origin from the plane containing both these lines L1 and L2. Let us see how do we solve this question. The very first we will, thing we will do is we will write down the normals to all the four planes that are given to us. So starting the solution, I will say normal to plane 1. I will call it n1 vector and this will be equal to, so this is my plane number 1 uh, right here, 2x minus 2y plus 3z minus 2 equal to 0. So what will be uh, the normal to this particular plane? It will be nothing but 2i cap minus 2j cap plus 3k cap. So these are basically the coefficients of x, y and z. Similarly, let us now write down normal to plane 2. Normal to plane 2, let me call it n2 vector and this will be nothing but coming from this second equation. So as you can see here, we will get i cap minus j cap plus k cap. Continuing further, we get normal to plane 3. Now plane 3 will be nothing but uh, this plane here. So normal to this plane, I will call it n3 cap. I can write this as i cap, then we have plus 2j cap, and then we have minus k cap. And finally, we will complete this list by writing normal to plane 4. Plane number 4 is right here. And uh, normal will be nothing but n4 cap and that will be equal to 3i cap minus j cap plus 2k cap. So we have got four uh, normals uh, because four plane equations were given. Uh, to every plane, we have write down the normal. Now, let us talk about line L1. Line L1 is the intersection of plane 1 and plane 2. So we know that line L1 will lie along. It will lie along n1 vector cross n2 vector. Why n1 uh, cross n2? Because these are the normals of plane 1 and 2 uh, and plane 1 and 2 intersecting giving us line 1. So what will be the uh, cross product here? n1 vector cross n2 vector. So for that we can use these two particular uh, vectors and write down the final expression directly. So you can see that the first value will be nothing but minus 2 uh, minus of minus 3 that will be nothing but plus i cap. Next it will be minus j and it will be nothing but 2 minus 3 which will be minus but there is a minus sign already there so this will be i cap plus j cap and finally for third value it will be minus 2 uh, plus 2 which will be 0. So that's uh, nothing but the direction for line 1. Now we will say line 2 will lie along, it will lie along n3 vector cross n4 vector. So n3 cross n4 what will be that? So first uh, value will be nothing but 2 into 2 this is 4 minus 1. So that's 3i cap. Next, uh, there's a minus sign now. Uh, that will be 2 plus 3, which is 5. So minus 5j cap. And finally, the third value will be, this is minus 1, minus 6. That's minus 7k cap. So we have got uh, both these cross products along which line 1 and line 2 will lie. Now, the normal to the plane containing L1 and L2. So what will be normal to the plane which will contain both L1 and L2? So for that we will again take a cross product like we had done it here. But this time we will take cross product of uh, the first cross product which we obtained for L1 which is I cap plus J cap and the second cross product which we had obtained for L2 which is 3 I cap minus 5j cap minus 7k cap. Now this will be nothing but minus 7i cap plus 7j cap minus 8k cap. 
So basically, I am now very close to writing down the equation of the plane which will contain both the lines L1 and L2. So therefore, equation of the plane containing L1 and L2. What will be equation of the plane containing both L1, L1 and L2? We already have the normal to this plane. So I will use all this uh, coefficients. So we will get minus 7x plus 7y minus 8z plus a constant, let me call it d equal to 0. So now if I can find the value of d, then I will get the equation of the plane. And once we get the equation of the plane, then we can find out the distance of that plane from the origin by using a simple formula. But now the question is, how do we find this value of d? To find out the value of d, I need any one point that I'm sure lies on the plane. Now there is no such point given directly to us. Can we by inspection find out such point? If I can find out any point which lies on line L1 or L2, that point will also lie on this plane because the plane is containing both these lines L1 and L2. To find out point that lies on line 1, let's say, I will need a point that lies on both these planes, plane number 1 and plane number 2. So any one point that lies on both the planes will also lie on line L1 and will also lie on this plane that we are talking about. So what I can say is by inspection, so any, any one point, so let's say to keep things simple, if I take x equal to 0, if I make x equal to 0, then uh, you can see that I can choose the value of y and z in such a way that uh, a point will lie on both these planes. So if I talk about point 0, 5, 4, you can see that if x is 0, then we get minus 10 and this will be nothing but plus 12. So that's 2 minus 2 becomes 0. So yes, this point lies on the first plane. What about the second plane? x is 0 minus 5 plus 4 is minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. So this point lies on the second plane also. Because it lies on the both the planes, it lies on line L1 also. And because plane that we are talking about contains L1, this point also lies on this plane. So I'm saying that by inspection 0, 5, 4 lies on line L1 and hence on the plane containing L1. So what I can do now is put x, y, z in the equation of the plane. So I get minus 7 into 0 plus 7 into 5 minus 8 into 4 plus d equal to 0. Now if you solve, you can see that this is nothing but 30, sorry, uh, this is 35 minus 32 which is plus 3, so d becomes equal to minus 3. So finally the equation of the plane becomes, equation of the plane becomes minus 7x plus 7y minus 8z, the value of d is minus 3 and this is equal to 0. And therefore the distance from the origin distance from the origin will be nothing but we will use the formula which is nothing but uh, in the numerator we will take d upon which is 3 uh, under root uh, because we want to find the distance from the origin we will simply take the square of 7 which is 49 plus 7 square 49 again plus 64 here now this will be nothing but d upon under root 162 now under root 162 is nothing but uh, under root 91 into 2 uh, and under root 191 will be nothing but 9. So 3 by 9 will give us 1 by 3 under root 2. So 1 by 3 under root 2 matches with option number 4. Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning.